Peace and blessings, y'all. And it's called a box of 24. Good evening, good evening. How's everyone doing this evening? How hope everybody's doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good on this side as always. God is great. God is good. And I definitely can't complain. And if I did have a complaint, God is great anyway. And God is always good. So no matter what, he's always that way. So in this corner box in 24, please subscribe to the page. Please leave your comments. Please push the like button. Support the channel. Try to bring good content and the best content. Um, you know, we're still on the high from Bud and Spence. But I'm going to shift gears tonight with Jamel Charlo and Canelo. And I'm not looking forward to this to happen, but... I see another scenario where the fighter, only difference between Charlo and Spence is, Charlo's not really that bully persona. He don't have that bully thing in him. He's not really cocky and braggadocious and all of that. You know what I'm saying? He's a lion, he's a dog. He, he comes to fight, he'll fight anybody. I, I, I give him that. But he's a little different than Spence. But however, there's some similarities as well. The main similarity is they got the same trainer, right? Derrick James. Second similarity that I noticed with Jamel Charlo is that like Errol Spence, he's not good going backwards, fighting backwards and punching off the move. He, he's not good with that, right? So he's going up against Canelo Alvarez, who's faster. I don't know who's strong. I'm not gonna try to figure that out, but Canelo's strong. That's all we need to know. 39 knockouts. And 62 fights. So he's definitely strong, right? Um, faster. Strong. Great boxing IQ. He might not have the best footwork. Neither one of them have the best footwork. So if you want to give that to Charlie, you can. But counting punching goes to Canelo and punch selection, right? He throws that uppercut, he goes to the body, he throws that overhand. I don't really see how Charlo is gonna beat Canelo. Cause here's the thing, to get a decision against Canelo, pardon me, you're gonna have to engage. And when you engage, that's when you're gonna get counted. He's not gonna hurt Canelo. Jamal Charlo is not hurting Canelo Alvarez. He got an iron chin. So we know that's not happening. You're not stopping him, okay? When he push you backwards, it's gonna be a problem. And he got great head movement, so you're not even gonna hit him flush too much. Maybe here or there, but not too much. Canelo got that body attack. Like I said, he comes forward, he mixes it up, he moves his head, he gets into that rhythm, he doubles up that jab, he doubles up that body shot, throws that straight, hand, those that straight right, those that hook, those that uppercut, those that overhand, like, Canelo got a lot in his arsenal, man, that toolbox, just like Bud Crawford had. And again, these both fighters are trained by Derrick James. They don't have that backwards fighting game. And they're both going against um, a champion that I think they're overlooking. They might be overlooking Canelo because he's coming off of well, not his last fight, he beat John Ryder, but before that, he lost to Bivol. So they might be thinking, oh, he lost to Bivol. We got him. Man, that was 175. This is 168, where Canelo is undisputed. And you undisputed at 154, Jamal Charlie. You should have fought Tim Zhu. Then think about fighting Canelo. Work your way up to it. But I wouldn't have t overlooked Tim Zhu to go up to Canelo for money when it's a hell of a risk for you. See, the risk is on you. And the risk could be not the loss, because you got a loss. Even, you know, even though I say you shouldn't have got the loss, it was a close fight, however, it was a close fight with Tony Harrison, right? And we know that when you got somebody pushing forward on you and they can box, that's an issue. Because Donald pushed forward on you. He was, he was in front of you, Charlo. 
and you had an issue with that in both fights, and even with Tony Harrison in both fights, when he put, put, came forward, pushed forward against you, you had a problem. Now, Jason Rosario pushed forward against you, but he's only looking for the knockout. He don't throw punches and bunches like Harrison and Castano and throw them nice combinations and all that. So you was able to get him out of there, right? But Tony Harrison, you had a problem with both fights until the stoppage. And then and with Castano in that second fight, you had an issue with him as well until the stoppage. Now you're going up against Canelo, who's coming forward, but he's got head movement, so you're not going to hit him like that. And he's coming with that speed. He's coming with that velocity. You know what I'm saying? Different ball game. Different ball game. He got the experience. He's a veteran. It's a lot to overcome. If he beats Canelo, it would be by a tight, close decision. I just don't see it happening. I believe Canelo is going to beat Charlo. In my humble opinion, it's either going to be a unanimous decision or a stoppage, a late stoppage as well. Okay? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One of those rounds. I think he's going to get Charlo. He start breaking Charlo down to that body and throwing those uppercuts and them hooks, it's going to be a problem. So, I don't know what plan Derrick James got for you. He obviously didn't have a good paying plan for Errol Spence, even though it wouldn't have mattered, but at least Errol Spence could have probably put up a little bit more fight than he did. A little bit more. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure you're not sleeping on Canelo now, especially after what just happened to Spence. But then again, maybe you are because you're feeling like Canelo lost a step and... You undisputed at 154, so you ready. You just hungry, you ready, and that's it. Don't go like that, man. You got to put in that work. You got to be serious. Because Canelo, I'm sure he's going to be tip-top. If Canelo is 50% of himself, that's a problem. That's a problem for Ch Charlo on September 30th. That's a problem. So, man, it's a fight I definitely want to see because it was made. Um, I think Canelo... Should fight Benavidez before he calls it quits. I, 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 Andre, I don't really care about because Andre didn't really do nothing. Andre could have fought Charlo. I mean, Jamal Charlo. So I ain't really worried about Andre. I don't think Andre could do nothing with Canelo anyway. Benavidez has a shot to make it interesting. And I don't think he could stop Canelo either. That's the thing. So, you know. He would have to beat Canelo with his height, with his reach on, on, on the scorecard. But Canelo always has a shot to hurt him. I don't know if Benavidez has ever been on the canvas, but Canelo is that dude when it comes to that fight game and inside or out. So, yeah, he definitely should fight Benavidez, but he's not. But he's fighting Jamel Charlo. And I just hope, man, that they ready because Canelo, I'm sure Canelo going to be ready. And he's going to want to prove the doubters wrong that, you know, yeah, Bill will beat, 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 beat me, but he's a much bigger man. And that weight was just too much for me. That's not the division for me. Okay? And I still think he would do better in a rematch with Bill because he didn't get beat down. Like Earl Spence got beat down and broken up by Bud Crawford. See, that's different. It's different. When you get beat like how Earl Spence got beat, and you're not doing no rematch and coming back any any much better. How much better are you going to come? No, man. He know how to fight you now. He know how to fight you. He know the punches to throw. He know how to throw it. Ellis Spence is just too slow for Bud Crawford. Take it or leave it. And Jamal Charlo is not slow, but is he too slow for Canelo? Is Canelo too fast for him? We definitely going to see on the 30th. But please tell me what you feel about this video. Tell me what you think about Jamel Charlo and Canelo. Do you think it's going to be a win? Do you think it's going to be a stoppage? Do you think the fight should have even happened? Tell me what you think. Peace and blessings, y'all. In this corner, Boston 24. Please, everybody, be safe out there. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I will definitely do the same. Peace.